Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. To display help, press the question mark button. Is this courage or stupidity? Is it the act of a madman to repeat the same actions in the hope that the result will differ? Life is for living, for moving and singing, so you can move fast and break things, limbs and guitar strings when you're drinking. Courage is the triumph over fear, so we can be heroes if we choose to, it's not a competition. Life and death are so ethereal, it's hard for us to recognise them. But every day we live, and breath we take, and meal we eat, and book we read are all just one in the eye for the reaper. And if you're ever scared and you think you can't cut it and you'll never make it through the night, just shout out your name into the darkness and remind yourself against the odds you are alive, you are alive, you are alive. Sometimes, sometimes all you need is one or two words of encouragement. You've got this. I believe in you. Overwhelmed. Overstressed, overworked, overzealous, undernourished, overtired and overexcited. Undercover and under the weather, overhyped and misunderstood. Overblown, over and now it's over, underground and all around us. I've been bowled over. A poem for the new year. I wrote a poem for the new year where I listed the things I wanted to achieve and then I ripped out the pages, turned them into a small paper aeroplane and threw it from the window. Crime and Community. What happens at Rebellion Festival stays at Rebellion Festival, and each crime has a punishment, easy come, easy go. It's a Sunday to die for, Lucy in the sky with a stolen pint, the dying of the light with an IPA. Mama just killed a man and I don't want to die, it's not my time, I'm still alive, I'm still writing. Prevention is better than the cure in the course of law, at least at the source of the police force. You put the unity in community, we take the hood out of neighbourhood. Kids can cause trouble by digging in the rubble when they want to play football, but if we burst their bubble we can stop the struggle, a little magic for muggles for the muggles who need it. Bringing people together creates communities and stops the bad guys from being bad guys, so Sunday assembly is suddenly stopping armed robberies. Jacob Pop had a tobacco shop in Frogmore where he sold lots of chocolate on a Sunday. He fought the law and the law lost. Once you pop, you can't. Falcon Heavy Take off and land the good ship Falcon Heavy, launching itself up, up and away into the atmosphere. Another little piece of history. Who needs the work of David Bowie? He's out there himself amongst the stars. He's up high in the sky in the light, a symbol of the future as subtle as a train at the end of a tunnel. I think it might be beautiful. Perfect. You know, you don't have to be perfect all the time and out of the box. You can make mistakes and shrug your shoulders. Chances are no one even notices because you know we're the primary protagonists in the stories we tell about ourselves and no one cares unless you have something to give to them. Life can be a vulture pecking the flesh off the bones of its enemies. Still, death can be an asshole and when you spit in his eye you might just find yourself running. All I want to know is when the bar opens and when the bar closes and lowers. There's a world out there. There's a whole world out there on the other side of your window and it doesn't really count if you crack it open and let some air in. The bubble you live in will burst someday. There's a whole world out there even if you only see it from a computer screen or if you lie in bed and read about it. Even fantasy fiction has a grain of truth in it. There's a whole world out there living on edge, waiting for someone to make a mistake so they can blog about it until someone hits the big red button and the bombs rain down from Moscow. There's a whole world out there, not life on Mars, but intelligent thought in the minds of young philosophers, and all we see on TV are bad millennials staring at their phones in restaurants. There's a whole world out there, and the world inside your head is only the beginning. Carve your path. Carve your path like a pumpkin, hollow it out and put a candle there. Use it to light the way as you fumble in the darkness until you find whatever you find you're looking for. Burrow through the snow until the tunnel you build collapses in on you, like a Mexican drug lord breaking out of a jail cell. Be the Mexican drug lord. Fight your way out of the trap you're in and try not to get into trouble. Break laws if you must, but only if the reason you break them seems reasonable. Rise up and rebel, not in the company of other people, but in the comfort of your own living room. Posting posts and blogging blogs and talking about books on YouTube. One day you'll have enough and you won't know you're full until you're no longer hungry. Carve your path or have your path carved for you. You can go one way or you can go the other. Just don't let someone else decide for you. Who knows? Who knows whether you know whether you know enough? Who knows whether weather will wear a wearable? Who is ill in the easy evening when each epic explorer ate a weightlifter? Who hopped the hula hoop in the hardest hole ever? 
Who are you and where did you come from? And where in the hell has my mind gone? Stress. I could explode sometimes like a bomb disposal guy cutting the wrong wire and you thought your job was stressful. You see, it turns out I'm at my most relatable when I'm clutching my chest and trying not to panic. I'm at my best stressed. I'm blessed to believe in what I believe in. And you know it's real when the weight of the world feels like a rucksack and you're running through the grass to find somewhere to put your tent up. And even on holiday, I worry I'm not getting my work done. There's so much on my list, I can't keep up with it. Trust me, I'm trying to turn into a dragon, but I can't get my wings off the ground. 